eight stages of a twin flame journey. The reunion with the twin flame is not accidental. It is something very special, divine and magical. The energy they generate is unique, identical, with lots of light and very high vibrations. Being the other half complement and nurture each other. When this encounter occurs, at least one of the two will recognize the other flame. There are different ways of carrying out this merger, bearing in mind that it will always be subject to the spiritual evolution of each couple. For the twin flames who have reached a high spiritual evolution, the most common is that first that fusion is spiritual in the higher planes, carrying out the fusion works from their spirits and working the connections and ties of the heart. The most advanced flame will collaborate with its companion flame, its other half, in its awakening, will help it to release the barriers that prevent it from ascending and merging with it, and then gradually it can reach the fusion on the physical plane. The love that is generated between the twin flames is a sacred love that goes beyond the physical plane, space and time. It is a love of souls not only of bodies so that later it can manifest itself physically. The twin flames will not be able to fuse in their entirety until the corresponding healing work has been done for each spirit, releasing all karma until it reaches its purest state. At least one of the two must be awake, in which case the one who has been awakened will help his fellow soul in its awakening and in its spiritual evolution. The twin flames have a joint mission of spiritual love and have found each other to help each other and to help others. There is only one for each one, and the energy and attraction that they give each other are of very high vibrations, which makes what is felt inexplicable, because being such a high love, there is no need for words to understand those feelings so sacred that nest in the hearts of both, so that later they can be shared. In pairs of highly evolved twin flames, who have already released all karma and their spirits are in a very pure state, there are no conflicts between them, as they have worked very hard for many lives, leaving behind the old patterns and being reborn from new to the physical world to help yourself and continue learning. They are equal energies and complement each other in a spectacular way, since they live for each other and nurture each other. They live unconditional love because they have already worked and overcome detachment and understand that love is freedom, but at the same time they feel a great need to be together because they feel protected from each other and they know that everything will be fine. When they are together they feel at home. They are very pure beings who have already released themselves from the chains that can bind them to the material world. The heart ties are so strong that nothing and no one can break them. These ties are linked together until a time comes when they merge into one. The channels of light also merge into one, so they are always connected. They feel so much in the heart that those feelings are manifested through the mind and they always think of each other, but not in a selfish and possessive sense but on the contrary, it is for pure love. According to Jenna Forrest, there are different stages of relations between the twin flames. 1. Recognition Both rays are recognized at the soul level and feel like they have already met before. Synchronous events surround the union. Their hearts open and unite in a third unified energy. Both flames experience accelerated spiritual understanding. The purpose of this stage is to activate the life mission of each flame and facilitate its awakening to higher levels of consciousness. 2. Proof The initial spiritual awakening dissipates. The ego arises again. One or both twins can try to fit the relationship into the traditional standards of the couple and of what love should be because it is what the ego wants and it is what they know and believe to be correct according to the beliefs learned. Internal conflict arises. They will ruminate on what they have learned that being loved should be and how relationships should serve us. Both twins will feel inspired and knocked down simultaneously by the power of the union. Doubts will drag them, making one or both flames begin to see the loved one with a critical eye and suspicion. The purpose of the testing stage is to bring up the mental concepts from the old paradigm about romantic relationships to be cleansed. I suggest you to subscribe to the channel because you will receive more information like this. Let's continue with number 3. Crisis 
the crisis of flames ensues when they realize that they must either reject beliefs about what a relationship should be or reject the loved one. Having to throw away beliefs and desires that have become part of one's identity to embrace a superior expression of love can awaken anxiety and stubbornness. Fear can trigger dysfunctional emotional patterns. Keeping the flames present, they will be able to notice these patterns and release them. Despite these fears, the twin rays will gather to heal by making love and forgiving each other. Purpose of this stage is to provide opportunities for the healing and maturation of emotional and mental bodies. 4. Escape Escapist and Pursuer The human ego fears its annihilation against the unified divine consciousness of the twin rays. The body of pain sprouts and the old mechanisms of the ego, such as resistance, defiance, manipulation, anger, judgment, and punishment are activated. One or both flames are emotionally and mentally stunned by deep pain that arises from the perception of rejection and abandonment at the soul level. Immeasurable pain makes one or both rays flee, moving away and blocking all kinds of communication out of fear and futility. Purpose of the flight dynamic is to encourage both individuals to seek union with Source, with its divine spark, for the healing and maturation of the spiritual body. Due to the force of the ego, it is difficult to overcome this stage, so it is possible that the twin rays fail to reach the following stages. Jennifer says there is no room for judgment at the union of the twin flames. Each soul learns by walking its own path and choosing according to its own will. Loving thoughts without expectations will be felt by the loved one subconscious, and that will help him stay strong. I suggest you to watch this other video that may interest you, 9 Signs You've Found Your Twin Flame. Let's continue with number 5. Performance The result of the relationship is placed in the hands of divine providence with complete faith and confidence that the expected union is under divine protection. This stage is achieved by accepting that the final union will be in the best way and at the best time. Both rays have to reach enlightenment before harmonizing on the physical plane. The fleeing flame is given full freedom and space to choose and evolve at its own pace. At this stage, compassion returns and remains. The twin ray that has managed to surrender leaves a space in your heart for your loved one as you explore life on the way to your enlightenment. Likewise, the state of unconditional love reached in art, music, writing, active service to others or other creative activity can begin to transpire. Purpose of this stage is to release the ego, develop continuous communication with Source, and demonstrate to her that she is fully confident that what has to be will be given at the right time. 6. Glow The ego dies and divine energy floods the body. This leads to a complete spiritual awakening. This is the stage where divine love radiates instead of seeking romantic love. During this stage, the emotional, mental and spiritual bodies reach maturity. New creativity and healing abilities emerge and are used for the service of others. Purpose of this stage is to establish a flow of divine love through one's body and work which vibrates to a level that elevates humanity. 7. Harmonization At the point of harmonization, both rays have been awakened. They achieve union on the physical plane so that their evolved energies integrate and achieve their potential. These integrated energies positively influence others to open the heart chakra. This is the mission of the twin rays. 8. Become One Since society is not dictated by the ego, hearts become one, you and your twin flame become an inexhaustible source of love, empathy, and compassion. And this is contagious to everyone around you. The twin flames recognize each other's vibration and frequency. They become one. The uniqueness of their association is not just through the death of selfish beliefs. It is in the process of letting go that the heart recognizes why you need the other. You are here to make a difference in your lives. The twin flames are miraculous to meet. They have learned to follow synchronicity, the intuitive whispers, and the wisdom of divine guidance. The twin flames have the ability to remain lovingly and enhance the soul's purpose. They are the reason why we believe in fairy tales. 
this type of relationship comes into your life so that you incorporate the vibration of unconditional love. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos like this. Thanks.